good evening everyone welcome along to breaking some new ground here pistol australia's first live show uh we're going to have a contest we'll announce that a little bit later for the name of the show but i'm mike westhoff i'm going to be your host and over the course of the show and joining me tonight is our national development coach joe capitanoff welcome along nice to meet you so it, fantastic here this fantastic. is uh new initiative here by pistol australia uh we're going to cover all things pistol of course obviously coming up very shortly and in just a few days time is the wa 1500 world championship we'll be speaking to some athletes very shortly but let's hear from our president first ray andrews hi everybody it's ray andrews here president of pistol australia it's my pleasure to welcome you all to the first ever pistol australia live stream show obviously most of the content will be about pistol shooting and what we provide to our members in australia as of this friday We'll be live streaming the WA1500 World Championship from the Hilltop Range in New South Wales. So stay tuned for that one. Also, there'll be new shows and more shows coming up in the future and events, so I also hope you'll watch those. Thank you very much for your time and look forward to your comments. Well, thanks, Ray, for that uh, opening words there, and uh, thanks to the support of the board, obviously, for letting us do this show. Uh, we're going to give Joe some time here as the National Development Coach to obviously talk about some specifics, but we'll chat to you uh, about that in a little bit. WA 1500 coming up World Championship starting on the 11th. It's going to be an exciting time. Uh, I think um, um, the whole world will be um, watching, I hope, um, and it's particular for Australia to have international talent coming to our shores. Yeah, it's a brand new range down at Hilltop, uh, just outside Mittagong. So we'll be heading there in uh, a couple of days' time. Opening ceremony on the 10th, and then competition starts on the 11th. And we've got 137 competitors from eight countries coming out here. Australia, obviously, represented by all the states and territories. And we're going to speak to some of our national athletes. I think we're going to go, we've got Chris Banfield on the phone. We're going to try and get Chris Banfield very shortly. So let's see if we've got Chris on the line. He's on the Spirit of Tasmania, sailing across the Tasman at the moment. He's and on he's, the boat. He's on the boat. He's gone, okay, we've lost Chris for the moment, but th this is what happens in live, uh, this is what happens in, in live TV, but that's okay. So Joe, look, look, let's go straight through to you as National Development Coach and programs that you're implementing. Uh, tell us about the National Development Team. Yep, the National Development Squad um, is uh, eight months into their program. Uh, we started in uh, January with a team of uh, 12 uh, athletes and uh, we're developing uh, their skills and their ability to actually progress into the national team. That's our whole mandate. So you've gone around the country, obviously, at many competitions and done some talent identification. So you've got 12 athletes in the initial development squad. Yep. Where are they based around the country? Um, we're, we're basically covering every state um, except uh, Northern Territory. Uh, we have one from every state and uh, as far as Western Australia and we bring them together on a regular basis for uh, camps and for training and also for competitions around the states. Yeah, as you said, you want to see those athletes that may be targeted for 2024, 2028 Olympics? That, that's the sort of that is correct, pathway yeah. for those people? That is the pathway that we're aiming for, yeah. We're going to try and get Marnie on the phone now, are we? Okay, yeah, we're going to cross straight down to Marnie Jones, uh, a competitor also part of the organising committee for the WA 1500 World Championship. Marnie, are you there? Yes, I am. Oh, we've got you on screen there. Lovely to see you. So you're down there getting set up. Obviously, big day tomorrow. We're going to get some registration starting to happen and training for the WA 1500. It's pretty exciting. it's going to be absolutely awesome and um, I'm sure that all our international competitors will be very very yeah we've got 137 international competitors coming out from seven countries plus Australia so eight countries represented uh, it's it's you've got some staying I believe you've got a competitor staying at your house at the moment um, yes we did have a competitor last week and he came over early and loaded his ammunition at our place um, he's now just doing a little bit of um, sightseeing around the Blue Mountains in Sydney um, before he comes down to the world. So your role as the competition secretary, you're looking after entries, athlete entries, processing. Obviously, there's a, there's a fair bit involved in people bringing um, their firearm to Australia to get them registered and get them into the country. 
Yes, um, that, that is a huge job. People really don't realise until you try and go overseas with firearms, um, how difficult it is. But um, Martin O'Brien is the overseas liaison and he's been looking after most of the international competitors with their paperwork. Um, it's been a huge job, but I believe um, that the competitors so far coming through the airport in Sydney have been very, very impressed with the smooth process. So uh, that's a good plus, yes. And uh, yourself, you've, you've been in uh, pistol shooting, what, for 13, 14 years? You, you've been competing and this is your fourth world championship? Yes, that's right. Second time actually selected in the national team. I think you funded yourself a couple of times overseas. Yes, the first couple of years um, uh, we went over, my husband and I, one year, the next year I went um, without him. And it's a really good um, experience to go and get um, experience under your belt um, before you even get into a team situation. But you don't have to be in a team. Anyone can shoot, anyone can compete in a world championship. It's all graded, so even if you're in the lowest grade, you can still be world champion. And I think that's... Um, that's a really good thing because it, it encourages those people who, you know, they don't think, well, I'm never going to win, so I'm not going to bother. So it, it's been really good. But obviously very proud there to be representing Australia and, and, and to host the World Championship and, and represent your country at a, at a home World Championship, competing in front of friends and family, that's got to be a real thrill? Uh, yes, it is. Hopefully when I'm competing, I'm not thinking about any of that. I'm just doing my Very job. Good. True champion. Um, but yeah, yeah, leading up to that, um, yes. Yeah. And do you think your role in event organisation is going to impact on your shooting when you actually get going in the competition? Um, preparation probably hasn't been um, normal, to say the least, but it um, doesn't mean that it's not you know, that everything that I've got under my belt now isn't going to come out at the right time. So trying not to stress about anything, I'll just get through things one day at a time. And um, hopefully when I'm on the range, I'm just doing my job on there and I'm not thinking about anything else. So I'm, I'm sure everything will be fine. As part, I guess, as, a, as an athlete, that mental strength to be able to switch on at the time you've got to compete. Take us through WA 1500. You shoot over a number of different lengths and... Uh, prone and standing and around the pole. There's, there's, there's a bit in, in WA 1500. Can you take us through some of it? Yes, well, it's 150 shots um, plus our sighted shots to warm up at 50 yards and 25. Um, we then start at 7 yards and we fire um, 12 shots in 20 seconds and we move back to 15 yards and we do the same again. Uh, we're back to 25 yards and then we have 90 seconds to do 6 shots kneeling six shots left hand on the post and six shots right hand. We then move back to 50 and we do six shots sitting, six shots prone, six shots left hand, six shots right hand um, in 165 seconds. And we do two lots of 35 seconds, firing 12 shots, three standing. Then we go back to the seven yards and we do the 20 seconds um, again back to the, 50, the sorry the 25 yards and then back to the 50 and do another 50 series and then finally do the last six shots in 12 seconds at 25 yards for standing a long match it's very yeah. involved by the sound yeah. of it. it's very involved but obviously your aim there is to get uh 150 x's and score 1500 that's everybody's aim <laughs> um and that's what, that's what we work towards um, but, you know, as long as we're making progress and we're learning along the way, which you never, ever stop learning, because when you think you everything that's gone wrong can go wrong, something else happens, so that's another learning experience. But that's why we keep coming back. Yeah, so, do so Dean and Peter Bruce set a world record, I think, last year or two years ago at the World Championships. Yes, they did. They did. Um, it was absolutely amazing to watch. Um, I think everybody will be very impressed that watches the um, team's events, um, particularly for the world teams, the amount of pressure everybody is under um, to perform. And it's very, very spectacular. And, um, yeah, Peter and Dean, um, that's that's something that a lot of people can't do, have father and son um, hold a world record. So congratulations to them. Yeah, and, and Peter comes into the tournament ranked number one in the world at WA 1500. 
Um, I believe so, yes. I try not to look at the um, the rankings too much. Um, just concentrate on my job. Do you get a chance to train with Peter? Yeah, and we Bruce? do. Um, we do we do a lot of our, our competitions um, because we're in you know, New South Wales. Um, just about every competition we're at, um, Peter and Dean are at as well. We all travel around. There's um, a sort of a core group that doesn't sort of miss too many. Um, so that's a really good experience to actually um, shoot um, with the, the best people in the world and also, you know, nobody's short of giving anyone else a hand, you know, if, if somebody sees something, you know, that they might, it might help you, they'll tell you after the match. So, Sounds like a good um, bond. Yeah, it's a very, very close family, um, Pistol Australia, everyone's pretty close and obviously WA 1500 teams are very close. Marnie, you know we're having a competition to name the show, so have you come up with any ideas yet? Um, I had one over here, I wrote it down. Only the range report, it's not very exciting, but that's all. Oh, that, that, that's our first entry in the competition. <laughs> Everyone's got to be uh, Everyone's in it. The range report, there we go, Marnie Jones, the range report. I like that. So the competition's going up on Facebook, Instagram, uh, also email and Twitter. You can enter on any of those uh, social media platforms here from Pistol Australia or get onto pistol.org.au and put your entries in because we want everyone to enter. We're going to have a competition. Yeah. We'll shortlist and then we'll vote. Popular demand and we'll get a name for the show. Sounds good. Well, thanks for your time down there. We're going to see you in a couple of days uh, at the warm-up and at the opening ceremony there for the WA 1500. Best of luck uh, in your competition. Thank you very much. Good luck, Marnie. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Yeah, there we go. So we just touched on the competition. Yeah. I'm excited to uh, to see the names. Yeah. Though. We've got the range report. Um, clear sight, I think, clear. was another one that, was, uh, that <laughs> came through. Sight. Clear sight. So, uh, yeah, get your thinking caps on. And uh, I think we'll get the graphic up very shortly here and gives you the information on well, where you can enter. Obviously, yeah. it's on Facebook. It's on Twitter. It's on Instagram. And you can also email. Uh, follow, pistol follow at pistol.org.au yeah. and email in your entries and yeah. uh, that's going to close in September, a little bit later in September and then we'll have a short list and we'll have a vote oh. and exciting we'll, we'll times, go with, we'll go with the winners Waiting yeah, we'll go with the winners, yeah, yeah <laughs> um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get Linda Jekyll, she's uh, out uh, we've got no, Chris we've Banfield, got here Chris. we go so we've managed to catch Chris, Chris is on the Spirit of Tasmania sailing across the Tasman as we speak there we go, look at that. G'day Chris, how are you? Very good, yourself? Fantastic buddy, thanks for uh, giving us your time there. Obviously the boat's getting ready to sail very shortly. Uh, you, you're catching the boat across to Melbourne and then you're going to drive up to Hilltop. That's correct, yep, about a 780 kilometre drive, so just a chip shot compared to what the other guys are driving, but not too bad. Yeah, I think Linda Jekyll's got about an 8,000 kilometre round trip from Perth, so uh, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be talking too much about 780 k's, I think it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, it's Joe here. How's your preparation been for the World Champs? Uh, it's been pretty busy the last few days. Um, I've been pretty busy at work, so I um, had to take yesterday off. Loaded about 1,900 rounds, so um, I'm all set now. So. How do you balance work and training? Uh, I just do the best I can, pretty much. So, um, yeah, just try and get out when I can. Bit of dry firing at home. So, um, Do you think that's uh, that's the key for people who don't have the range time to um, to to devote to the sport that they do plenty of dry firing? No, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Dry firing is one of the best training you can do, and I'm cheap. So there you go, a person juggling both. And tell me, Chris, uh, how many times have you now been in the Australian team? Uh, this is my third year. This one, so um, yeah. All three years been on the team with uh, Peter Bruce, so um, yeah, be good to get out there on the, on the line with him again. Yeah, he's, as we just spoke to Marnie, he comes in ranked number one in the world, so um, yeah. you know we are top competitors. The Australian Australians should be challenging for podium finishes. Yeah, no, it's um, pretty good, like considering like the, the Europeans and that, uh, pretty much their job to, to, to shoot, so... Um, I was going to say, who, who's your stiffest competition? Uh, always myself, I reckon. <laughs> I can try and beat myself and I'll, I'll go pretty well. So, what's your top score uh, in a WA 1500 match? Uh, in 
1500 auto, my highest club score is 1495, so that was a pretty handy day. That's a very good day. <laughs> <laughs> good day. <laughs> Just roll a couple of those out over the next few days, mate. I think you'll be right. Yeah, we'll, we'll be right then. Yeah. So do you step up your preparation? Obviously, you were selected in the Australian team at uh, the Nationals in Yarra in April. And Have you stepped up your training since that selection? Yeah, yeah the last few weeks I've, um, I've stepped up a fair bit. Uh, the weekend just gone. I shot about 600 rounds over the weekend, so just um, clearing all the... All the uh, I don't know. Cobwebs? <laughs> Keep the cobwebs out? <laughs> yeah. So, so take us through your sort of preparation for competition. Uh, obviously, there's a physical preparation because you've got to be able to be steady and have a strong arm and get, get your firearm up into the shooting position in the same way over and over again. It's repetitive, but then you also the mental side of it and then the sights and getting, getting accurate. And that, that comes yeah, from obviously from, from firing. That's correct. Uh, so I've been shooting since I was about five, so uh, the... All the other stuff pretty much already drilled in, so just uh, fine tuning as I lead up to the to the shoot. So sorry, there's an echo in here; it's killing me a bit. That's okay. Just keep talking through the echo. Don't worry about it. Uh, that's part of uh, live crosses. Um, you're pretty excited about representing Australia here on home soil. You're going to have some family and friends coming to watch. Absolutely, yeah, it'd be good to, to shoot on home soil. So I've got my um, dad and stepmom coming over, and my lovely girlfriend Renee's coming up with me on the on the drive. So that'd be good. Two, two happy tears on the side. Home ground advantage, do you think? Ah, uh, most definitely. So it won't, won't be jet lagged. That'll be a, that'll be a great feeling on the range. Uh, have you sighted the range yet? Have you had any competition at Hilltop at the brand new range? Uh, all I've seen of it is a couple of photos, so it'll be good to, to get on the range and send a few down the range. But it looks like a very good complex. Uh, excited to shoot on it. I know um, with uh, our IWSF shooting, we try and get our athletes um, some uh, uh, graphics to visualise. Did you do that in your preparation with the photos that you had at hand at all? Absolutely not. Not a very visual person with training, unfortunately. So you're one of those. You want to get out there and do it. You just want to be out there on the range and and uh, and practicing. That's it. Yeah. So. Well, mate, it's fantastic that you gave your time here on the Spirit of Tasmania. I know that the ship's going to sail very shortly out of Devonport. You'll be in Melbourne in, in uh, tomorrow morning, and then in the car and up to Hilltop and into competition. That's correct. Yep. So That's so. <laughs> it. Make sure you put your tray table up before you sail. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Lifeboat, mate. <laughs> yeah. All right, Chris, fantastic, mate. Best of luck in the competition. I know we'll be t chatting to you throughout the WA 1500. Sounds good. Thanks, fellas. Good luck, Chris. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's exciting. It is exciting. I, I think it's, it's fantastic, obviously, to represent your country, number one. And then to do it at home on home soil yeah. is always a very special feeling. Uh, you feel so much love and support from the crowds and from Absolutely. friends and family. Uh, very, very proud moment for all our athletes. Um, yeah. I guess we're going to try again to get Linda Jekyll. She's yeah, somewhere that's... on the Nullarbor. She might be playing the golf range. So she might be on the third <laughs> hole trying to find a ball. We're not sure. But uh, we'll see if we can cross to her shortly. But, Joe, I'm quite new to the world of pistol. And I'm going to go through the process. I want to know what is the process for me to actually get a license okay. and to actually become a competitor. It, um, uh, Mike, it varies from state to state. Um, I'll give you um, a description of what happens in New South Wales. Uh, as for the other states, they have slightly different laws and different technicalities. We'll, we'll put those up in the coming weeks, yeah. what each state's regulations and uh, laws pertain to becoming a member of a pistol club and actually getting a license and competing because uh, I tell you from watching the nationals in April I actually quite like the air pistol yeah. I'm quite drawn to that yeah it's uh, it's it's a very uh, precision discipline yeah um, I don't know if I'm going to be any good but I'm, oh, I'm, I'm keen to have a go as long as you uh, give it a go uh, you'll make up your mind I haven't had anyone who's tried it who said, oh, this is not for me. Right, okay. So pistol shooting is one of those addictive things yeah. until you actually try it. Okay, so part of the process is obviously, though, um, police checks. Absolutely. And uh, 
basic training on handling a firearm. Yep. Safe handling uh, of the firearm. All sorts of safety issues before yep. I actually even touch yep. the firearm. Basically, in New South Wales, um, you basically uh, will do an expression of interest to join a club. Sure. You cannot, uh, in, in my club particularly, um, handle any firearm until you actually go through a, a, a sequence and a process of actions. I've got to which, pass a test. Yeah, you have to, to say, actually, I understand. Basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we give you a little safety booklet, which uh, in your subsequent, after you've shown interest, come back to the club for an appointment and then basically do a safety briefing, um, pass the test and do a practical safe handling of the firearm. Then you fill in a form, which is a police form that says that um, you uh, fulfilled all the criteria for the safe handling and then uh, give it a go, basically, and then your process actually Then the begins. process starts. I, I believe that once I've gone through that part of the process, which could take me a couple of weeks, to Definitely. pass a safety test, to read the book, to be comfortable, like getting a learner's permit for a, a vehicle yeah. and then passing the provisional test. Yeah, basically once you've passed the um, theory and practical test, then uh, you can get on the range and we will one-on-one uh, -on -one instruct you with a qualified instructor, um, show you and get you to actually enjoy and fire the firearm. So, I think we're going to film, try and film all this. Yeah, and we, take, and we take got, the process. We'll that, actually do this. Yeah, we'll, yeah we'll, we'll film all this. We'll take us through the process of, of how do you go about, firstly, obviously having expression of interest to join a pistol club, and obviously you can go to pistol.org.au and all the clubs are listed, and you can find the one closest to you. Give them a call and kick the yeah, process and off. It, yeah, and yeah. arrange uh, 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 information uh, briefing, and then uh, follow basically the. Uh, safe handling of the firearm and give it a go. Yeah, and there's, I, I picked up this great little uh, book here. We're at the Pistol Australia office in Canberra. Yep. It's a great little booklet here on the basics. the basics, yeah. yeah. Basic pistol shooting techniques, yeah. how to get started. And that, that's fantastic. Obviously, uh, it's one of those precision sports where you need to find your precise point yep. and repeat that over and over and it's over. It's one of the very few sports that are actually measured in millimetres in accuracy. Yeah. I mean, we're... we're, we're, we're we're at the uh, pointy end um, when you go to the competition, but it's for, for all levels. Um, you can do it as a social sure. um, club um, meeting with friends and family, or you can go all the way to the pointy end and compete for your club and then compete for the state and so on, like these guys that we spoke to, WA1500, yeah. go to international it, competition one day. Yeah, and, and, and compete at a world championship. So when you look at the umbrella that is Pistol Australia, it's the IWSF, which is the International Shooting Federation, the Olympic disciplines. That's correct. And then we also cover a range of other disciplines, WA1500 being one of them, and we will go through um, all the different disciplines over the coming weeks. Yes. Obviously, the, the focus this show and next show is WA 1500 World Championship, but we, we're going to cover all of them. Uh, we've got a, um, a national championship coming up at Narrabri in just a couple of weeks, yeah. so we'll do a show from there as well. Yeah, so it's an opportunity for competitors, whether they go down the road of Olympic discipline pistol events or they go somewhere else and they can compete club level, inter club level. Yep. Regional, state, state, regional, state, national, national international world championship. Yeah, world championship. So it's. And I spoke to Bob from Tasmania at the Nationals, and a really lovely gentleman in his 50th Nationals. I mean, incredible, incredible. Pistol shooting is one of those disciplines that um, you can be any age. Yeah. You can be any I'm a late, genetic I'm a late makeup. starter. I'm a late starter. It's not predisposed <laughs> to any uh, con uh, genetics uh, required, like, like yeah. basketball, you have to be tall. Yeah. And, yeah. But pistol shooting can be enjoyed male, female. Um, it's usually... Uh, also for people who, you know, don't like team sports, you know, don't fit into team sports. They can do it as an individual. It, it is, I guess to a degree, it's an individual sport. It is. It's a bit like maybe golf where you're, yeah. even though you're playing other people or competing against other people, you're competing against yourself. That's it's, amazing. It's your, you calming your nerves and being precise and coming up and, and bringing that to the yeah. precision moment. One of those self-absorbed sports, you know, yeah. where it's you and the target. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it. it. It's all about trying to hit that X in the so center. That's it. 10.9, we call it. 10.9, that's it. In IWSF, uh, in well, the other about, disciplines. What about Chris? 490, uh, 1495. Five, that's a yeah. very good that's day. Very out of 1500. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, you can pull one of those off for the uh, 
world champs. Well, I'm going to give this a go here. I'm going to learn and get my license. I'm going to become a member of Pistol Australia and I'm going to get, become a member of a club and I'm going to go through the process. I'm going to take you with us yeah. to join It'll and find out. It'll be an exciting out. journey. It is, it is. It. I, I guarantee it's going to be a long time before I shoot 1495. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's wrap it up there with the competition. Yep. Folks, thanks for joining us on our first ever live show. Um, don't forget our competition. We want to name the show, yes. so bring us your best names. Yep. We've got uh, Range Report. We've got Clear uh, Sight. Clear Sight. Clear Sight so far. They're two of the ones. Um, we also want to thank uh, Monaro Workwear for dressing us here. Lovely yes. new shirts, yeah. jackets, uh, caps, looking after us here at uh, Pistol Australia. Get online, pistol.org.au. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.